Who do you think, Elijah? Better than another tour bus. Definitely. But Mac, I can't see anything. Hey, Dee, check this out. This place is sick. It's like some sort of weird workshop. More like a mad lab. Yeah, that's more like it. Elijah, look at me. Matt, you shouldn't do that. That's not yours. Dude, don't touch that. See? Just an ordinary old book. Just a book, huh? Herein lies the adventures and misfortunes of a life spent conquering the wild, the master tamer. I enjoy being invited to dinner, except I don't appreciate being added to the menu. Looked as if I was done for. But I have one thing that the T-Rexes don't. Longer arms. <laughs> the trick for the untamed is just to show them who the real king is. The untamed? Do you think they're even real? Okay, that's it. Let's go. Dude. Check these guys out! Actually, that's pretty cool. The book says he's a T-Rex and his name's Iron Jaw. He was designed in a secret laboratory to be a dangerous and destructive hunting machine. That's why they call him Iron Jaw? Wait, remember in the journal? What did the Master Tamer do to calm him down? See? Sometimes you just need to know how to tame him. The journal says that he eats metal for breakfast and his strong bite can work through anything. And there are a bunch of more T-Rexes too. Scratch, Tracker, and Ripsaw. Whoa! That smell is definitely untamed. This one's got some strange mark on it. This one too. Matt, let's check the journal. Just do it. It's not gonna bite. You never know. The same symbol and a key. Just, Just another, another day, day at the yeah. office. When suddenly it hit me. Ow! Ooh. Hmm. These new raptors won't be easy to find. But it looks as if they found me. I wanted to give this raptor a round of applause for trying so hard. Bravo, raptor. Bravo. <laughs> Dude, raptors, no way! Whoa, that color is awesome. It says its name is Hazard because of its hazmat print on its eye and its sucks a green color. According to the map, he comes from the mystical deep jungle part of the island where other raptors live too. He fell into a toxic chemical spill and caused his personality to become volatile. He can mutate from friendly to savage instantly. Nice. Dude, there's like a bunch of more raptors in here. Frostbite, ghost, mutant. This is crazy. I think when the master tamer clapped, it must have been a, a call of the wild or something. Ancient technology. A symbol. Look for the biohazard one. Hey, MT. I hope 
this transmission finds you well. I'm coming to you from the deep jungle where a dinosaur stampede seems to be taking place. Whoa! This thing usually happens when Hazard the Raptor is out hunting, and he can cause quite a lot of trouble. You know what? I think I'm gonna bail before he realizes that some fresh meat just arrived. Haven't heard from you in a while. Hope you're not in danger. Bye! Did you ever stop to think where the Master Tamer is now? Where did he go? You think he's still around? Well, well all the stuff still works, and these creatures are still here. He's got to be here somewhere. <sighs> I can't wait to meet him. Wait, check this out. This may be my last journal entry. The warning to whoever reads this, do not come looking for me. The road is too dangerous. The Master Tamer is missing. <laughs> Where could the Master Tamer be? You heard the book, man. We have to keep reading that journal. Give me the book, D. <laughs> Uh-oh. You lost the key. You should have given me that journal. You heard it. It's just a book. Well, the only way to find out what happened to the Master Tamer is to keep reading the journal. Sorry, buddy. Seems Looks like, like the, the sun is even scared of this place. And the rocks are a little jittery, too. I better watch my step. It looked like someone else was a bit scared too. Never mind. I needed him to lighten up a bit. Aha! Just had to shine a light on his good side. But how are we gonna open up the cage without a key, smart guy? Wait, what was the key made out of again? I think bone. Dreaded skeleton dinoraptors. <laughs> Undead and ferocious. Look at the bones. Awesome. It says that the skeleton dinos draw their undead power from the mystical energy of the Boneyard Canyon. It also has a brother named Doom. A T Rex that might be even more dangerous. Whoa. The undead power seems to come from ancient crystals under the canyon and brings back life to any creature that dies there. Wait a second, I got this. Whoa! Undead power! Hey, what you looking for? I think if we trace where the Master Tamer has gone already, we might be able to find out where he's going next. And maybe where he ended up. So, we went to the jungle lab, went to the deep jungle, and then the Boneyard Canyon. So that means that the Master Tamer must have went to the Icy Tundra. That's a big two. Max, stop! He's scared of the monster too! He probably has germs on it! Or worse! Look out! <laughs> stop! Watch a tape, you should have just asked. This one looks promising. Hi, MT. I'm here in the icy tundra, and it's very, very cold. As you can see, there isn't much that can survive around here because of the harsh climate and the thin air, except for the saber tooths, and luckily, they don't seem to be around. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. That must mean they're just waking up, and that means breakfast. And I've already eaten, so I'll get out of here. Let me know if you're okay, MT. Bye. So the Master Tamer went to tame the saber tooth next. <sighs> Dang it, I'm allergic to cats. It's, it's been, been five, five long, long days, but I made it. And man, is it cold. One of these pesky felines has to be around here somewhere. I just don't know how I'm going to break the ice. I think I'll just slide right in. 
Quite the icy reception. Reminds me, I should start flossing. Gesundheit! I think we both need a tissue. Where's the key? There wasn't one in the journal? No, but check this out. Whoa! Okay, his name is Silvertooth and is a saber-toothed tiger from the frigid and lifeless icy center. He gets his name from his silver teeth that he got from biting into molten metal. He uses them to chomp down on his prey and can break through anything, obviously. There's another saber-toothed tiger in the wild named Bonesaw. Saber-tooths are loners, so apparently they don't like each other much. Bless you. Who did that? Okay, D. Now this is getting weird. Now you think this is getting weird? Matt, if it's in the ball, it's probably dangerous. That's exactly why we should mess with it. Whoa. The Untamed don't seem to like him very much. Hey, look at the cages. They almost have color strips on the back of them. Silver, orange, green, red, and gold. Five symbols, five cages, five vials. What does that mean? Something about those vials are connected to the untamed. We have to keep reading the journal. I was enjoying the fresh mountain air. But no point in just hanging around. And stop the landing. Would have been the perfect place to watch if it wasn't for one minor detail. Ah! Never interrupt a dire wolf's beauty rest. But I wasn't afraid. After all, they're just really, really big puppies. Fetch! I heard the call of the wild. Give me the key, D. No, this was mine. I read the story. <laughs> His name's Midnight and is a red and black dire wolf. He's known for his ferocious temper and echoing howl. This says that the dire wolves are from the mountain foothills, but usually climb to the tops of the cliffs so that their howls are heard far and wide throughout the island. He usually runs in a pack with another dire wolf, a white and blue one named Blizzard. And when they hunt in packs, they can take down even the biggest creatures, like dinosaurs. What about the vials? Does this journal say anything about them? Hey, check this out. Luckily, I was able to make contact with most of the creatures before he did. I can't let him use the Untamed for his deranged and dangerous experiments. Soon I will have my final confrontation with the mad scientist. The mad scientist? 